Hey Big Black Bible, we are Callan and Georgia from the places we go on Instagram and we're going to take you on a tour of our home on wheels. Let's have a look. So we'll start with the car. We've got a Ford Ranger 2016. Uh, it's a space cab model. So we've got the extra two seats at the back and fit for some more people or extra luggage or any more storage that we need. It's a six speed manual, 3.2 liter diesel engine. Um, it's a nice comfortable ride. It's a good car. Uh, it initially was a um, forestry government vehicle um, and they were carrying a massive water tank on the back so they had a GVM upgrade done to it already um, uh, which is definitely needed to carry the massive weight that we are um, so this new GVM is three and a half tons 300 kilos extra than what it used to be so our slide on camper is the North Star TC 700 uh, it's a 2007 model uh, the reason we wanted a slide on camper we initially wanted a van um, but we wanted a four-wheel drive to not be limited by where we go. But we still wanted uh, indoor living space um, just for that extra comfort and be sheltered in all weather scenarios. Uh, the extra benefit of that is the sleeping space is separate from the living space and it's all contained in a car-sized unit, which means we can get into car parks, we're not towing a trailer. So it's nice and nimble just to good in between of course it comes with its drawbacks but uh, I think we're quite happy with it we are able to take it on and off if we want if we need to get some extra off-road places uh, just use these four legs use a drill or a hand crank uh, it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to take it off we do that if we're staying in a place for a couple of days and need to go a bit more off-roading and don't want to destroy the camper as you can see it is quite top heavy so it can only take so much um, being an old uh, uh, model 2007 they did have a bunch of things that needed replacing and fixing um, all of the electrics needed to be redone we redid the flooring um, and Georgia redid the upholstering on the inside as well as as well as just replacing a whole bunch of things um, but it was in decent condition when we bought it so it, it's not too bad so looking at the exterior we've got our nice camp chair and table set up Zuali chairs and Zempire table um, this space here um, it was initially designed for a tub uh, not a tray back so there's a big sort of cutout I uh, call them the side cutouts um, and we opted to put a canvas sheet um, with bungee tie downs um, to keep that all contained um, and not uh, add any extra weight with toolboxes and whatnot but we do have a toolbox toolbox in there for extra secure storage um, storage here um, come around the back uh, got more storage basically everywhere. Gas bottle lives in there with our water hose and a bit extra space if we need. Uh, ladder we bought off eBay. It's just a, a boat ladder. Um, folds up nice and easily and then just bungees on the back when we're ready to go. So we continue around. Um, this is where we store the surfboard, either this side or the other side, um, just if we're staying overnight or if we're driving short distances, it's pretty secure. Um, just being bungee on there when we're driving long distances or it needs to be protected we chuck it inside um, it's safer in there um, shower unit if we want to have a shower outside connecting up to 240 volts if we need that we do that very often and a uh, hot water heater which sort of works but again we don't really need hot water most of the time because it's pretty hot um, yeah uh, that's pretty much most of the outside and now Georgia will take you on a tour of the inside all right, now let's have a look at the inside of the side on camper. So this is our back door. Come on through. Okay, so we do have that fly screen door on the front as well as fly screen on all of our windows. Um, so we've got fly screen here as well as the lockout blinds here. Um, we find the fly screen super handy. It's an essential part of life on the road um, as we're dealing with lots of mosquitoes and mozzies all the time. So we find it really, really, really helpful. Um, this is our indoor living space. I recently reupholstered all of this right before we left, which was much needed being that it was quite an old side on camper. So it was great to freshen it up and it's definitely transformed um, the whole inside space. Um, and it definitely reflects our style a little bit more, which is nice as well. Um, this table does fold down to turn this area into a single bed. 
We recently had a friend stay here um, and he confirmed that it was pretty comfortable, so that's good. But for the most part, we do keep the table set up um, and we use this space to work on laptops or to eat meals. Um, for the most part, we do try and eat as many of our meals outside as possible. Um, but it's really great to be able to come in here if it is raining or windy. Um, so we do really love having the inside living area as well. On this side, we have our kitchen. So I'll start with the fridge. This is our Bushman 135 litre fridge. Super spacious. Honestly, way more space than we need, um, but we love it. And the best part about it is that it is super quiet. Um, over here, we have the sink. We have the three burner gas stove, the exhaust fan, um, and Callan very kindly made the spice rack just before we left as well, which has been great. Up the top here, we have all of our pantry items. So super easy cupboards that latch. Um, we try and keep the pantry as organized as we can. Um, down here, we have our cutlery drawer. We have all of our knives and we have the utility drawer. And then down here is where we keep all of our pots, pans, bowls, plates, cups, and all of that sort of thing. Um, over this side is our main overhead cupboard. Um, this is where we will keep anything that needs to stay inside. So um, bath towels, beach towels, toiletries. Um, we save the side cutout outside for anything outdoor related like the um, camping chairs and tables. So anything that we wanna keep in here to have easy access from the inside is um, going up here. Um, over here, we have our shoe cupboard, um, as of course we need to keep the shoes separate because we don't want mud traipsing through the camper, we like to keep it as tidy as possible. Um, and up here we have our electronics cupboard, so we like to keep the electronics separate, we don't want them floating around and any cupboards getting, um, getting damaged, so they all stay safe up here. Um, right below my feet here is um, where the battery box lives. So we've got the cupboard doors there um, and also this step comes off. So for super easy access, if Callan needs to get in there to check on the battery, check on the battery health or do anything, then he can get to it really quickly and easily. Um, over here, we have our washing lights, which is great. Again, if we are in bad weather and we need to um, hang anything up, it's really, really useful to have that space in here. Got the air conditioning unit up the top here, so we can air con or heat. Um, it does require us to be um, plugged in to power at a caravan park, so we don't use it very often. But it is really nice knowing that we do have it in an emergency if we are in extreme heat or cold weather. Um, we can hook up to power and use that, which is wonderful. Um, we've also got the LED lights on the roof. We've got one just there one um over the kitchen and one in the back bed space here um they just touch led lights um we do like them really easy to use but we also love that we have our fairy lights in the back for a more dim warm light that we use at night um what else have we got so then next would be the speakers we've got um, a few different speakers across um, the front and the back of the camper which all connect up to our bluetooth radio unit down here um, so we just connect our phones up to that um, and we can play music in here, which is really nice as well. Um, what else have we got? I think that's everything for the front part of the camper. So I will now take you into the back bed space. Um, back here we have our bed. Um, we absolutely adore that this space is completely set up and we don't need to pack it down. It can stay as is. It's really nice having a separate living and bedroom area. So we're super grateful for that. Um, our favorite feature of the back here is the skylight. Um, so you can open this. Um, it's also got the fly screen and the block out blind. Um, so we get to fall asleep looking at the stars, which is really nice. And we also get a lot of natural light in here, which is something that we um, really wanted. Um, over here, we have our fan. So this used to be um, a TV, but we actually decided to take it out because we didn't think we were going to use it very much. And we've instead got this fan in. So um, this is running off the battery. So we don't need to be at a caravan park to use it, unlike the um, air conditioning unit. So this has been a lifesaver and probably one of the best purchases we've made. Um, and we use it all the time. We also have the, um, the charging cables up here so we can charge anything um, by USB. Um, fairy lights, as I was saying, all hooked up in here, which is great. Um, and then over this side, we have um, the lovely hat rack that Callum built for me. Um, so we can keep those there and they stay nice and intact and don't get damaged. Um, I'll show you as well where we keep our clothes. So these um, side cabinets down here um, are where we store all our clothing. Um, we have nice IKEA sort of dividers down here. Um, 
to sort of make everything organized. We roll up all the clothes and we find that that's more than enough space for all of our clothes. Um, we've got mine on this side, Callan's on this side, and then the only other place where we have clothes is this cupboard just here, um, where we have um, a little bit of hanging space. Um, we almost don't need it, but it's a little luxury we have to be able to hang up jackets and dresses. Um, so we love that as well. Um, but yeah, that's about it. That's um, the inside of our slide on camper and we really love it. And thanks for watching.